In this video, we will see a problem on Thevenin's theorem. If you want to buy my notes, then check the link in the description below and install the app now. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Question. Find the current through 6 ohm resistor for the circuit shown in figure using Thevenin's theorem. Here for this circuit, we have to find the value of current through this 6 ohm resistor by using Thevenin's theorem. Solution. So for Thevenin's theorem, we need the value of RL, RTH and VTH. Now here in this circuit, we have the value of load resistor RL and it is 6 ohm. The value of RTH is unknown and the value of VTH is unknown. So first of all, Let's find the value of RTH. So to find to find RTH, what we will do? Turn off. Remove RL first. Remove RL and turn off all independent sources. Independent sources. Now here in this circuit, if we remove RL and when we turn off all the independent sources, then this will be our RTH. Now here we can see when we turn off this voltage source, that time it will be replaced by short circuit. Again, when we turn off this voltage source, it will be replaced by short circuit because voltage source, independent voltage source replaced by short circuit and independent current sources are replaced by open circuit. Now here we can see this 4 ohm and 5 ohm are connected in series. So their equivalent resistance will be 4 plus 5 9 ohm. So it will be 9 ohm. Now this 9 ohm and this 10 ohm are connected in parallel. Here we can write 9 ohm parallel with 10 ohm. It will be 9 into 10 divided by 9 plus 10. If we solve this, we get 9 into 10 divided by 9 plus 10. It is equal to 4.73. 4.73 ohm is the value of RTH. It is the resistance between terminal A and terminal B, 4.73. Now similarly, we will find the value of VTH. So to find VTH, what we will do? We will remove RL and find VOC is equal to VTH. That is VOC is the open circuit voltage at the terminals. Now here, if we remove this RL, this will be our VTH now. This will be positive, this will be negative. And this is VTH. So here we can see VTH is equal to VA minus VB. Or simply, we can apply, first we will apply KVL to this loop. Or first of all, we will find this current. Then we will apply KVL to this loop. Let's say this is loop number 1 with current I1, let's say. So, we need the value of this current also, the current through this 10 ohm resistance to apply KVL in loop number 1. So, let's find this current first. So, let's say this current is current I. Now, according to the direction of this current, this current direction will be like this because positive terminal is here. So from positive to negative, it will be like this. Now according to the direction of this current, this will be positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So let's apply KVL. Let's say we are starting from this point. So it will be minus 10. Here we can write apply, apply KVL to right side right side loop 
let's say we are starting from this point so it will be minus minus 10 then plus plus 5 i1 plus 5 i then plus 4 plus 4 i then plus 10 i is equal to 0 now let's simplify this so it will be minus 10 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 10 19 so it will be plus 19i is equal to 0 so 19i is equal to 10 if we take this on right side it will be plus so therefore i is equal to 10 divided by 19 so i is equal to 10 divided by 19 it is or we can put 10 by 19 as it is to get the precise answer so let's put 10 by 19 ampere as it is now let's apply kvl on left side apply kvl to loop 1 let's say we are starting from this point let's say so according to the direction of this current it will be positive and negative here so from here it will be minus 18 minus 18 then plus vth plus vth then plus 10 plus 10 into current now here this i1 will be equal to current i so we can write i1 and here we can write i1 is equal to i so then 10 into i1 then minus 10 minus 10 then is equal to 0 so let's simplify this minus 18 and minus 10 this will be minus 28 plus vth plus 10 into i1 now 10 into i1 is 10 by 19 10 by 19 is equal to 0 now here we can take this on right side so it will be vth is equal to it will be 28 and this will be minus 100 10 into 10 100 divided by 19 so therefore vth is equal to 28 minus 100 divided by 19 so it is 22.73 22.73 volt now we got the value of vth also and we also got the value of rth now what we will do we will make the thevenin equivalent circuit so this is vth and then this is rth vth this is rth vth is in series with rth and it is in series with rl this is rl now vth value is 22.22.73 volt the value of rth is rth value is 4.73 4.73 ohm then the value of RL RL value is 6 ohm now here this is the value of RTH this is the value of RL and this is the value of VTH and we have to find this current IL so IL is equal to VTH upon RTH plus RL this is the simple ohms law current is equal to voltage divided by resistance so vth value is 22.73 divided by rth value is 4.73 plus rl value is 6 ohm if we solve this we get il is equal to 
22.73 divided by 4.73 4.73 plus 6 now it is equal to 2.118 2.118 ampere is the value for load resistor IL that means the current through 6 ohm resistor is 2.118 so this is how we can find the current through 6 ohm resistor by using Thevenin's theorem don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel also if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below and thanks for watching